one of my listeners, friend of mine who hosts a podcast himself, James Altucher, wants to know uh, the proprietary algorithms of the of the medallion. No, he's uh, he wants to know: Has it become harder for you, um, given the rise in quantitative hedge funds, quant funds, and the thousands of PhDs trying to create new algorithms? Has that made it harder to create alpha? So, um, can you say what alpha means in the context of hedge funds uh, for people that aren't familiar, and then? answer that particular question? Well, when you say alpha, first you have to understand beta. Hmm. And, and beta is the uh, uh, the stock market as a whole. Um, let's say the S&P average. So you could just uh, invest in that and it would, you would be 100% beta. All your return would, be, would come from the, let's say the S&P, the Standard & Poor's average. Alpha is uh, a source of uh, earnings that is orthogonal to that. Hmm. It's orthogonal to that. Hmm. And uh, so that's alpha. Now, some uh, our medallion fund is, uh, I think, 90% alpha or 95% alpha. It really doesn't uh, matter where the stock market is going uh, for the medallion fund. We have uh, now the medallion fund is only open to employees of the of the company of Renaissance mm -hmm. and, and me, of course, uh, mm -hmm. as a founder and shareholder. Uh, so uh, and and we have some publicly available funds, which do have some beta. They're not 100% alpha. Mm -hmm. and But of course, they don't do as well as Medallion, but uh, but they do uh, quite well <laughs> until today. <laughs> today they had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Again, I'm always here. If you need a, if you need a cup yeah. of sugar, I'm here. Okay. Jim. <laughs> right. um, so in, in that space, the question is, um, I've heard it described that these supercomputers and, and computers in general are, of course, increasing exponentially. Example of power, computing power over time and cost is coming down. And yet the supercomputers themselves are suffering from the fact that there's more subscriptions. There's more people that want to use the computer now than in the earlier days. So it's sort of offsetting the exponential gains in processing power. And I guess James Altucher's question here is, has the just the net quantity of hedge funds and quant PhDs? Yes, so I understand. And I, yeah. Didn't, I, didn't, yeah, I didn't answer that question. Yeah. So I think the question is, do we have competition and how much competition uh, has competition hurt us at all? Because there are more and more quantitative funds up mm -hmm. to a point. I, I think most mm -hmm. funds are not quantitative funds, but there's certainly a, an increasing number of funds that are well, quantitative. And uh, our secret is just to stay ahead of everybody. Mm. To hire the best possible people. And the research goes on all the time, all the time we're doing research trying to find new predictive signals. Mm. New predictive signals, uh, for example, that's a big example. So a signal is, well, you know what a signal is. It uh, tells you what's, a predictive signal is a signal that tells you what's going what's gonna to happen. With and, some probability uh, of, right. With, some, with, with a, a greater than, probability greater than a half. Mm -hmm. uh, and the more of these signals that you have, and independent, they're not correlated with each other. If they're highly correlated, it's, it's really just one signal. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, the more you have, the better. And mm -hmm. uh, we have, uh, I won't even say the number, uh, and I'm not sure what it is, but it's a very large number of predictive signals. Mm -hmm. And they keep uh, being developed. And sometimes these signals lose their power. Yes. And uh, you have to discard them. Uh, other people have caught on or whatever. In the earliest days of my trading, uh, I traded commodities. Mm. And commodities had a tendency to trend, mm -hmm. a pretty strong tendency to trend. So that was a good way to make money. You would just say, well, if it was up last week, it's likely to be up next week or, or so on. Uh, but 
people gradually caught on to trending. Mm-hmm. So after uh, several years, or maybe 10 years after I started in the business, it, the trending in commodities had uh, completely disappeared. Uh, the stocks never trended particularly, so there was no real trending in stocks, but commodities there was. And so so that's an example of a, of a signal uh, that mm-hmm. just disappeared. Hmm. So that's and so other pretty- people, we don't we're keep discovering new signals. Other people uh, might find some of those as well, and that might uh, uh, the effect of that might be that the signal kind of goes away because too many people are using it. Mm-hmm. But um, so we have awfully smart people, and they keep coming up with new signals. So that, that's and we've stayed. You know, we've stayed with ahead. Oh.